The Social Security Administration offers two distinct programs to provide income monthly to individuals who are sick or injured and unable to work. The two programs are called SSD, Social Security Disability, and SSI, Supplemental Security Income. Now, first, I want to make you aware of what's similar. Regardless of which program somebody is applying for, the baseline criteria is that they have to demonstrate that they are unable to do any full-time work for a period of lasting at least 12 months or they're unable to work, again, because of a physical or mental health condition, which is expected to result in death. But there are several distinct differences between the programs that are important to talk about. First is where the money comes from. SSD is funded by payroll taxes. SSI, on the other hand, is funded by general tax revenues, which helps you understand the baseline criteria for the benefits. SSD is based on having a certain number of work credits. Generally speaking, people have to have worked and paid into Social Security for five of the 10 years immediately prior to becoming disabled. That's why it comes from payroll taxes. It's based on your work history. However, SSI does not have a work requirement. You never have to have worked a day in your life to apply for SSI. Instead, SSI has income and resource limitations. It's intended as a program for people who are impoverished and have very, very little money. Okay. Um, another difference between the benefits is how much somebody receives. Okay. SSD benefits are calculated based on a worker's earnings record, whereas SSI benefits are based on financial need. Generally speaking, somebody applying for SSI is gonna be maxed out. The most that they can receive is $943 per month. Whereas with disability, somebody could potentially receive over $4,000 a month in benefits based on having a really strong work record. Another difference is the health insurance that comes with them. SSD recipients become eligible to receive Medicare after a two year waiting period whereas SSI recipients are typically eligible to receive Medicaid immediately. If you have other questions about these, please leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to address them.